So I suck at narration and voiceovers. Maybe you do too. If you don't like the sound of your own voiceover in certain videos or for a client's video, then this new AI tool from our list is gonna blow you away. I know it has for me. In the soft golden light of dawn, the graceful Chili, a domestic cat of regal bearing, embarks on his morning expedition through the barren cornfields. But first, like all creatures of habit, he attends to a rather pressing matter. With his business efficiently concluded, Chili resumes his journey. The remnants of the harvest provide scant cover, yet Chili moves with the silent, practiced precision of a seasoned predator. His eyes, keen and alert, scan the horizon for any signs of movement. Each step is deliberate, each pause a calculated moment of anticipation. As the sun begins its ascent, the fields awaken with the stirring of small birds and unsuspecting prey. In these quiet, serene moments, the natural world's delicate balance of predator and prey unfolds, with Chile at the heart of this age-old dance of survival. It's shockingly good, and here's how simple it is to use. You choose a voice that you want. There are a whole bunch of different voices you can choose from. They range from some spooky ones like Shadow. Legend has it that Dylan will forever be making videos a slave to his passion. To more Doc-style voices like Precision. And to think that the simple life is as easy as just quitting your job and setting out to become a penguin. And if scrolling through them is too much, you can use the gender and video category settings to narrow down a selection of voices that fit your video. At our restaurant, the vibes rule and taste. So once you find a video that you like, you just select it, type in what you want the voiceover to say, and what's nice is that there's a voice settings menu here, so you can fine tune the voiceover. You can adjust the emotional range, which controls how lively the voiceover sounds. Adjusting this parameter makes it similar to how the voice was intended to sound, based on personality and performance style. And lastly, you have a style boost, which emphasizes the voiceover style. These two seem to go together pretty well. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the two. So what I would do if I were you is decide if you like the style of the example voice. And if you do, obviously leave it close to similar and then just adjust the style boost to make that style a bit more pronounced if you want it to be. The only thing stopping you from fulfilling your dreams is the rising cost of living. Here are a few more examples of some voices that I think rock. The summer's here, and that means only one thing. Your electricity bill is about to make you go crazy. Here's the thing. I'm British, so everything I say sounds smart and sophisticated. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Pew, pew. Gotcha. Oh, a new lens. Expensive yet worth it? Probably not. Once upon a time, Dylan John used to use his own crappy voice for narration. The voiceovers are already processed pretty well too, so other than maybe a volume adjustment, you don't have to do much tweaking of the audio. To get this tool, you have two options. You could go with the Artless Max subscription, which is what I have, and that gives you access to everything. So their music, sound effects, stock footage, etc. Or if you have your own music site and sound effects, you can go with the voiceover only plan. For both of those options, you get 50,000 credits each month, which comes out to about an hour of voiceover every month. And for reference, that whole Planet Earth narration was about a minute 20. So unless you're doing voiceovers for incredibly long projects, this should cover you. The link in the description will get you two months for free, so use that to save some cash. You're also supporting me by doing that, and I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this AI tool in the comments, and have a great rest of your day, guys.